Morning. Good morning, Kettle. He's up. He missed out on a beautiful sunrise. No, I didn't. <laughs> Jindabyne goodbye after we just went and had a walk across the Jindabyne Dam. Oh, there's our opportunity to hit the road, we better take it. It's pretty busy around here. So today's plans are we're gonna head off to have brunch at Tracy's Cafe. In our opinion, the best coffee, cake, hot chocolate in the area. You cannot go past Jindabyne without stopping at Tracy's Cakes. Yep. So Tracy's Cakes. I'm getting a coconut hot chocolate, my favourite. <laughs> so that's where we're heading now and then we're going to head on to Berrydale, check out some art before we head into the Kosciuszko National Park and find our campsite at Hirongabilly. So stick around and enjoy the adventure. Good. The best thing about Tracy's I think is the world famous one of a kind coconut hot chocolate. <laughs> One of the issues we're facing at the moment due to COVID is all the preventions that are put in place. So instead of being able to go inside the coffee shop and have a really good look and a, and a bit of a chat and a bit of a hug and a catch up, we're sort of stuck on the outside at the moment, which isn't a bad thing because the business is still open, they're still moving forward, but it's just a bit different to what we're used to. So the good thing is we're still going to be able to get our hot chocolates and we're going to have a bit of a look at the cakes and we're just going to see what's available. And isn't it good that even though COVID's hit us so hard, a little business like this is just still pumping, it's throbbing along, it's still just so busy. But there's actually a bit of a line up out in the front, which is completely understandable because they're the best hot chocolates in the whole world. No, we, we want the best mate, we just want the best. Oh no! over there maybe and send you guys over there because her artwork is spectacular yep they've and actually still got a sign up out the front for her art gallery yeah so, so we'll I'm take like, a photo of that so you can actually see what it's what it looks like her, she's a very inspirational lady so she's i'll fantastic. leave it to you to go and check that beautiful one out art, beautiful art we're hoping to show you some but yeah since That's she okay. wasn't there we thought oh well we'll keep going but we couldn't why because we've got cakes and a coconut hot chocolate from Tracy's cat. That's right. We so couldn't wait any longer. Well, good. I couldn't. <laughs> Let's get into it. So... What did you get? I got the lemon... Lemon cream cake. Lemon and sour cream. The girls make all of the stuff at the shop. You can see it being done as you're waiting for your coconut hot chocolate. It is fantastic. My mouth's watering. I can't talk anymore. I've got to eat. Okay. We are... Gonna tuck into our cakes. Tracy's cakes honestly are so good. They're like grandma's cake, cake. grandma's cooking. Is that how you describe yeah, it? Yeah, just like Nana used to make. Yeah. So you probably saw. But better. I didn't say that, man. So I've got lemon and sour cream. And I've got. I 
can't actually remember which one it was. There was two different mud. I think there was a mud cake, chocolate mud, and there was a chocolate blueberry mud. Mm -hmm. But I just got the chocolate mud because I'm just a massive chocolate mud cake fan. And it is phenomenal. Beautiful, rich, dense. Dense and juicy. Is that even a way But to not dry it? at all. Mm. Like there's no, it's, it is beautiful. And I was a baker for 10 years. So I should know. <laughs> To everyone at Tracy's, we thank you. Thank you. Salute.